what is it going on guys um this is the ghost of ernie stotner here coming back at y'all with the with the little live stream here uh, it's kind of a random one for pretty much 98 percent of y'all i think a select few of you may know who i'm talking about with what i'm about to mention and stuff and I mean, you guys may not care for the most part, but hear me out, and hopefully, you know, and I could maybe turn this, I don't know, and then we just talk about anything after this, but, um, but, um, just, just wait on for a bit, guys, I just gotta talk about this real quick, man, and then, who knows, what's up, Yens, I see you, just bear with me. But um, basically, Mexico lost an icon, music-wise. Um, there's a famous group. There's a famous Mexican band that's been around since the 1970s called Los Yonix. I don't know the English term for that. Los Yonix. Here's the, that's the name of the band right here. They've been around since 1975. Um, they were widely popular in the late seventies, all throughout the eighties, nineties as well. They were still popular and all that. Um, but during this whole, what, 45, 46 years of that they've existed, um, they've mainly had, they've mainly had one singer. They've mainly had one singer, one vocalist, and that is by the name of this guy, Jose Manuel Samacona. Jose Manuel Samacona is the name of the vocalist. And he's been around, been the singer this whole 45, 46 years. And he seems good and all that. But um, one thing that is noticeable about him is that he was handicapped his whole life. Um, had the talents to see and stuff, but he was, it is noted that he was handicapped his whole life, had a rough childhood. Um, I think he got, a, he, I believe he got um, polio at the age of two, and that affected his ability to walk. Um, he literally had to use a, use whatever you call those things to, to get around pretty much his entire life. So he suffered through that, and, um, you know, with that, along with his talents, you know, he's able to get the band up and running. He's got had some really popular songs, one of the more famous bands in Mexico, Alonso. I think the one that probably was always superior to them was Los Bukis, which is a band that recently reunited after 25 years of separation but um but yeah um they were this band and the singer was very famous had some big hit songs and um although they weren't they're not really popular now they weren't just they're not as popular now as they were back then but they're still up there well known and in may late may Jose Manuel, Jose Manuel Samacona got, um, was hospitalized. He got, he got hospitalized due to COVID. But here's the thing, though. Well, the, the medical field in Mexico, man, I remember you with y'all, it's not good. But, um, but here's the thing, though. You know, COVID, um, he, this, this dude got, got vaccinated for COVID. He got both of them already. And then next, you know, he falls ill on late May and he ends up in fucking on a coma and everything had to, had needed help through a breathing, breathing, needed a breathing tube and all that shit. So all that happened, and and yesterday, July fourth, twenty twenty one, 
he passes away from complications from at the age of 69. And what makes me wonder, man, now I'm really questioning the fucking vaccine. You know, even though I got vaccinated, yes, I did. I got both of them, but now I'm now I'm actually questioning. I'm like, is this really, is, it doesn't really matter for vaccine because, again, I mean, COVID is something that has a 99% survival rate, but but in this case, though, Jose Manuel Samacona, you know, he was vulnerable. You know, he was handicapped, um, can't, couldn't walk right, and that other stuff. And besides, he was getting up during age two, 69 years old. He gets vaccinated and all that, fully vaccinated, but he still contracts it and dies. So, I mean, obviously, in that case, you know, he should be worried about getting COVID because, you know, with the, with his conditions he has and and the age he is, and he got vaccinated and still got it and died. Um, in all honesty, man, but this this death hit me, man. This one hit me a bit because you know. Because of how widely popular they were, um, this is this is this is some of the music that I li- that I would listen to growing up as a kid. I would listen to these guys a lot. Um, you know, our parents would always buy CDs of them and shit back in the day, and they'd always put it on a lot, and I'd be listening. I fucking know like 90 percent of their songs. I mean. So this one hit me, man. That that's a part of my childhood that's no longer here now. I mean, they got a bunch of their music. I mean, it's it's good music and all. It's nice, relaxing. It's definitely good music if you need a nap and shit. But um, they got some good, really good songs that I liked personally. I did, you know. And this one, this one, this one kind of hit me a bit, man. It really did. A part of my childhood is now gone. You know, the senior of this famous band that I listened to a lot as a kid, now he's no longer here. It sucks, man. Um, you know, when I found out the news last night, I was in shock, man. Uh, I mean, I still kind of feel in shock, you know, that a big icon like that is now gone. Just gone. No longer here with us. No, a part of my childhood's gone now. That's how I see it. You know, it, it, it hit me, man. It hit me. Um, and a lot of these other Mexican artists and bands that I follow on social media, they've all been posting about him. All I'll be seeing a lot of posts, and they've just been posting about him. Hey, rest in peace. Saddened to lose you and all that. So, so um, it sucks. Part of my childhood that I listen to, um, an icon is gone, and I know a lot of y'all watching it. Probably all of you watching this probably is like, "Oh, who the fuck is this motherfucker?" Well, if you were Mexican, growing up in a Mexican family, then you'd know who this guy is. You know who this band is, and you know who this guy is. That's how popular they were, and that would have been part of your childhood. So, and that, that's the case for me. Um, listening to this band a lot as a kid, um, this one hit me a bit. It did. So, um, Mr. Jose Manuel Samacona, um, Señor Jose Manuel Samacona, que en paz descanses. Descanse en paz, Señor. Um, hasta el cielo. Um, you'll always live forever in nuestros corazones. Vas a vivir siempre con tu música, con tus canciones, con tu grupo. Um, ojalá que ya no estás sufriendo y que en paz descanses. Que Dios te tenga en su santa gloria. Amen. So there you have it, man. Um, what's up, Six Inc.? I see you. I mean, a lot of y'all probably don't care, but I just figured I'd come on here just to talk about it.
because why not? Um, it's kind of dark, kind of a dark topic, but um, had to be said, man. This is a big icon. This is something. This is something that um, that hit me, man. This is something that that really hit me. No, rest in peace. Can buzz this concert. What the hell? Oh, and I got a fucking email from somebody saying that they're live. Wow, you go live at the same time I do, you fucking asshole. What's going on over here? I don't even know what the fuck that is that he's got on panel, but... That is the least of my concerns. So, yes, that's what it is, man. Part of my childhood's gone now. And with that, man, um, the other... Here's, here's a couple other famous Mexican bands that I actually have shirts of that, that are also part of my childhood. Hold on. Let me find y'all that, that shit, man. Oh. Here it is. Here's a couple of shirts here that are all supporting my childhood. I fucking need a Yonic shirt. Um, I don't know if that even exists to be real with y'all, but I hope I need a fucking Yonic shirt though. Like real shit, man. Real shit. Here's one. Man, where are my fellow Mexican Americans at, man? They probably know this. I think only people like probably Primo, Last Jedi, and NorCal probably know these motherfuckers. Um, here's Los Bookies. Here's Los Bookies right here. Marco Antonio Solis, of course. They separated when I was only two years old, so I mainly listened to like. I mainly lived through the Marco Antonio Solis era when he was solo. So, but I still listen to a lot of the songs when it was Bookies. So that's one. And then here's another famous band that still exists today, but they're just not as popular as they used to be. Los Temerarios. That is one. So that those are two. Those are two famous Mexican men that were also part of my childhood. I need a fucking Yonic shirt. I need a Yonic shirt next. Shit, man. Y'all, you don't know where I can fucking get one. I want to try to actually... Maybe we can get a go to custom t-shirt design store or some shit like that and get a fucking Yonix shirt or something. Maybe have them make their fucking Yonix logo or, or something like that. Uh, let's see. What else we got going on? I fear this would be kind of dead to be honest. I don't have much to talk about in this motherfucker, but... Hey, you know what, man? I think I said what I needed to mention, though. Um, I think I'm going to go over to Primo's, actually. I may, I may actually haul at him a bit. 
just cause and maybe show him some of this stuff and all that, but um I don't know. What should I do, guys? I don't really see much going on over here. Because there is a certain individual I was hoping would come through, but I don't see it. So, with that being said, man, and I kind of do want to go with her to Primo's and holler at him a bit and say what's up. So, you know what, man? Damn, a lot of motherfuckers are live. Might, might have picked a bad time to go live. Because all these people are live. So, with that being said, man. Yeah, I'll, I'll, let's go over to Primo's channel, man. I think I said what I need to say, so. I am out.